My name is Sarah Haynes. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm an oil painter. The reason I choose oil paint is because oil paint takes such a long time to dry that um, when you're going over the first layer, like you can kind of time it, like you can see how tacky it is, like the like if it's halfway dry, you can kind of like plan your painting around that by like knowing how the next layer of paint is going to react underneath that halfway dry or more dry or more wet and you can kind of like build on it that way. So it's kind of because it dries slowly, the tactfulness and the way that you can plan that out. Um, like you want to hit that area before it gets too dry to get the effect that you want. Um, the mistakes for sure are sometimes a good thing and I think that all like really successful paintings have to go through like a really ugly stage before you, you, you can't be afraid of it becoming ugly and working through the ugliness to reach something um, that's beautiful. I, um, as an artist, what I consider success is, is being sort of brave enough to put yourself out there and to make work that you're not afraid of, of showing to the public and making really brave decisions. Um, I kind of stick to the same color palette a lot lately and that would be like really strong reds and oranges and just really powerful lusty colors. Um, and I like to incorporate drawing a lot as much as I can with it so I like to use like oil sticks and kind of like harken back to just like a regular charcoal drawing or just like some structural thing that can show through on a finished piece like something unfinished about the work after it's finished that can harken back to a, a drawing. The imagery that I've been working with a lot recently has been kind of these ambiguous animal forms um, they're a little non-specific um, for because of the way that I have begun to start painting, which is more of an abstract way, and I'm kind of wanting to like break down the forms a little more. Actually, I'm in, I'm intimidated by a smaller canvas because I feel like really confined by that, and the work when it becomes that big, it becomes very physical. It becomes very emotionally driven by the brush strokes and um, the largeness of the of the strokes. I grew up on a boat in the Bahamas and Caribbean, and I was homeschooled, um, so I didn't really interact with a lot of kids growing up, and the ones that I did interact with didn't speak my language for the most part, so kind of the way to communicate was through making pictures, like kind of showing affection by giving someone a, a picture. portraits, um, the subjects have um, been kind of like fringe society figures. The best thing about being an artist is, is when you do have a show or someone does see your work and they identify with it, even if it's in their own way of identifying with it. Um, as long as you're making connections with people and they're seeing your work and you can kind of play off of that. I pick my subjects based on just something that I find that's beautiful about an image that I'm using. Like I'll really like a shadow or something or I'll see a part of a, a photograph and I'll think, okay, that would be a really great thing to focus on and I'll go off of just knowing that that shadow could be a certain color and thinking about that and knowing that I want to use that in a painting eventually. I 
definitely do art out of a necessity. Um, I think that I'm really unhappy when I'm not working on a project. Um, I think that when I'm not working on something, I tend to focus on thinking, overthinking little things and just like chewing on things and I think that having a project to do and a painting to think about and come back to is really important because um, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's something to let your brain focus on. I think that when you when I'm not focused on making something or a project, I kind of my mind wanders and it just um, goes to places where it shouldn't and it's really unnecessary. <laughs>